So here's my curveball then. Mm -hmm. What ain't pocket? Ho! Oh! What ain't pocket? What is not pocket? That is a funny one. It's a curveball. <laughs> <laughs> what is not pocket? What I would say, what would you say is not pocket? Because I don't. Yeah, that's a good way to throw it back on me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> It's a very hard question, right? Yes. I would say uh, it has an easy answer. What's not pocket, in my opinion, is a drummer trying to do something they never practiced. A musician trying to, like at the gig, literally trying to do something he don't know how to do. Even a piano player. Um, yep. What's, what's, and that's where we go out of pocket. Like, what's out of pocket is you up in here posing as something just to get the gig. Your, your mouth game, Pauls, got you the gig. <laughs> and, and you you playing uh, like, 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 okay, I had a situation. I'm not going to say no names. Um, but we was playing a gig. I was main keys. He was on organ. I told him what song we doing in the form of a question. I was like, hey, man, you know such and such song? He like, yeah, what key? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you literally just What's lied. That? You just lied to me in one sentence. Yeah. So it, it's stuff like that. I think that's my answer for what's out of pocket. Some a musician literally on the day of the gig doing something they know they don't know how to do. I would agree. And even to piggyback on that, like what you're saying, something where you're not practicing, if your timing ain't right no matter what, and it's going like this, you're definitely out of pocket. Yeah, I'll add to that. <laughs> If uh, you don't know how to tune your kit, you don't know what. Wait, wait. So now we get into the sound of the. the, 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 the That's like about the part pitch. of pocket. We get into the sound of your instrument. You got drummers that want to do all these chops, don't even know how to make their instrument sound good. See, I got to pet people with bass that's, players because that's that's bass players don't even know how to EQ <laughs> their bass. Yeah. Yo. Yeah, that's another that's another beast in itself. But yes, it is definitely a true thing. If your drums ain't sounding right, definitely ain't. You got drummers that claim they pocket drummers and don't know how to use the rim. It's definitely a sweet spot to the rim. What is this okay, now talk to somebody that don't play drums. Uh cross stick. Cross it still didn't help me. Um, <laughs> the, the click when you snap the snare. You talking about the, the side, side stick. Okay, yeah, okay, that's okay. That's the best way to side stick. Pop. And there's a sweet spot. Definitely is a sweet spot. It's a sweet spot to everything you hit on the drum set. It's, go ahead, go ahead. No, 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 no go ahead, go ahead. I have nothing to say. Okay. <laughs> uh, not being, you said not how, how to not be in the pocket. What's out of pocket? A drummer who lacks dynamics. That definitely would fit. That doesn't know pocket. when to use ghost notes. Definitely. You know, it's crazy. And I, I, I fell victim to this. Learning how to mix taught me more about pocket. Because I would play. You're walking in deep water right now, man. I would literally <laughs> play when I play those, those drum covers. Now I understand because of where I want the reverb and how I want it to sound. All right changes how I play. Yeah. I noticed I did, a, uh, I did a cover, and I realized, like, the mics picked up. Everything. I left the hi-hat open just a little bit too long, and it destroyed the whole groove. That's a good, that's a, that's a good uh, insight and a good point. We need to dive deeper into that. I was um, going to piggyback on that. Go too. ahead. Go ahead, Larry. Nah. So, uh, and, and it's. <laughs> I ain't going to say nah. And then nah, go ahead nah, and do, I, nah, don't worry about that. Is that, that. a Cali thing? Yeah, that's <laughs> what I do. Nah. <laughs> but uh, recording yourself will let you know, no matter what, if you are in the pocket or you are out of the pocket, no matter what everybody says. If you record yourself and you start hearing stuff and you cringe, it lets you know right there. So it's definitely the way to go.